Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and, I and, felt like it was right, you know? It's all good. We all make mistakes. So we live and we learn. I fucked up. I, I fumbled a few bags in my life. You know? That's all right. It's not how you fall. It's about how you get right. up. You are yeah. who you are. That's never going to change. Don't worry about it. It's, it's been good. a mess. It's been such a mess. And I heard. And, like, I, I, I don't roll like that. Like, I don't get down like that. And I just hated the fact that, like, you know, the fans and even, like, Danny, Gabby, and Erica, like, they had to even, like, you know, feel outed and disrespected. Like, it was fucked up. But don't you do that again. Sorry. Um, That's all right. Don't worry. You know, it, it, it was – I'm only one voice. I'm only one person and I can only do so much and I can do what I, what I want to do. And that's just what I wanted to do. I, um, I knew it was wrong. Make it right with the girls. Yeah. The yeah. The truth. I, 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 I can't, I, I, this, 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 this is a lot. Thank you so much, Rocky. Thank yeah. you. All right. And, um, uh, I have a question. Yes. Are you going to, um, are you going to do this conversation? I have no, I think you just dropped. Do you not see what's happening? Like you just dropped something on me that I, this changes a lot. This makes me thank you for the truth. I have no idea. I'm still very upset. This has made me more upset knowing that I was fight. Rocky, you don't understand. Okay, so you say you I don't know. Me. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm telling you. So apart, aside from scamily stuff, the last like three weeks has been all about me backing those girls for the money. I wouldn't move forward on anything until shit was made right by them because they were slighted. I gotta go. I gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Have a good night, Rocky. I'll talk to you soon. I love oh my God. Okay. Bye. Thank guys. you. Thank Sorry. you so much. Thank you. Everybody say good night to Rocky. Bye. Okay. Wow. 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 The game is dirty. Nobody thought to say, hey. I'm going to wait on the receipts at this point. This is my last live with T, you guys. Like, I can't do this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Everybody, I don't have a dollar. I don't got a Pedia show, not a Huggies. Oh, and they may beg from OnlyFans. I found out the amount. So even though people were telling the fans it was a scam, they were still supporting that shit. They made bank. They got a little change. I might have to go on OnlyFans, y'all. Because baby, I mean, shout out to Dolly Castro who told me I need to make this. I put up that post about, long story short, I need 40000 Cash out. Yo, I'm stuck on what I just heard, y'all. Yo, the fucking loyalty is like non-existent, bro. What you laughing at? You hear this shit? You hear this shit? You laughing at this? Babe. Babe. Ciao. <sighs> Fucking Amber told me. Cody. I don't have nothing to say. I'm going to let the fans talk right now. Hi, Tanisha. Man. <laughs> no, no, you have to understand. You have to know. Tanisha. To know I'm a, how, how, how much. I think it's lagging. Can you see me? I can see you. It's still lagging. Sorry, T-Mobile is shitty. <laughs> She Adam. Like, what is this? What is this? This is weird, bro. This is so weird. Like, my thing is, do people understand the bridges that could have potentially been burned here for what? For what? I 
don't move like that. I don't operate like that. I, I did Bad Girls Club, you guys, and like I told you guys tonight, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how much my life was going to change. But you know what? I have to honestly say, as grateful and as humble and as appreciative as I am, yo, I earned it. I earned my position. I earned my success. I earned all of my blessings. Because why? I'm not a shitty person. I got morals. I have values. I am loyal. I have stayed consistent and true. I'm not perfect. I fuck up every day. But in terms of the business, I can't understand not communicating with someone and saying, hey, I know you were going to bat for me for something. I just wanted to let you know so-and-so came through with such. So if I never would have decided to speak to the other side, I would have never known. And then it could have potentially influenced me to make yet another decision. Wow, this is wild. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the takeaway here? The takeaway here is sometimes, even though you want to do the right thing, you got to really, you try, try to do the right thing. Try to do what's best, but do what's best for you first. Look at all this melee and the stress, but that's okay. It had to come out. They say, whatever happens in the dark must come to light. I wash my hands if it is true, because I can't. Sometimes, no matter how much you want to uh, save people, you got to leave them where they at. And I thank you guys for tuning in. Perez, you got to give me more time. I'm sure you're tuning in as well. I just got a bomb dropped on me yet again. I mean, I literally was on the last live telling this CEO, head of the network. What about the girls? See, a BGC house is on fire. The whole franchise is burning. I feel like the franchise is on fire. One of them is twerking in Dubai and the other one is outside lighting the damn blunt with the flame. Me. It is on fire. I had mixed reviews about uh, Perez, by the way. I had a lot of feedback about Perez joining on. A lot of you don't trust him. Perez, I see you. They don't trust you. A lot of them don't understand why. But because of the severity and the tenseness and I'm involved, it does potentially make sense to have a mediator. Now, my initial thought, my, my initial thought was the house is on fire. And it's not on fire. It's not a two-way fire. It's a multi-way fire. See, the first conversation that was had didn't make sense to me. I'm, I'm sure they had beef, as I've heard. And that happened in the midst of them trying to do a reunion. But the real girl Scambly had beef with was not sitting there. They weren't present. The ones who the fans really wanted to see. Not just myself, but a few others. So initially... My thought process was, first things first, bring everybody to the table that got beef and let's sit down and try to fucking out this fire. But after just hearing what I just heard, after hearing that bomb drop, that people got, pay people got paid and I'm here fighting and did dropping bags like I got. And nobody even said, not even a text, but then have the audacity to be up in my life talking crazy to me. Nah, son. Nah, the audacity was bought by the Bad Girls Club. The audacity was bought in bulk by the Bad Girls. And I have reason to believe they are all trying to kill me with the exception of a few, the nice ones, y'all know who they are, in the last quarter. Because this don't make no damn sense. Come on. Come on and close this out because I'm over this whole shit. Ah, oh, gee. Just tell me I look good. Man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I put some makeup on today. You do look good. You, you do look good. And you told me. You told me That's all of this. Yo. You told me all of this. Yo. You I know. You told me all of this, yo. You told me from the jump. You told me everything that was going to happen. Everything that went left, that did go left, you told me. Yeah. I mean, 
I don't know, you just like after all these years, and I've been really close with like the main person that's scamming everybody right now, I guess is what we're all calling it. Um, I've seen that behavior, like, like the tell you one thing, switch at the next minute, just like the only when you're only kind of out for yourself, and you'll burn any bridge or do anybody wrong, the next minute to try and pull them back in, and then do them wrong and then pull them back in. I've seen that behavior over the years. So I like when when this project first started, I was like, Oh, crap, this is gonna this is not gonna this is not going to end well. This is not going to be well. This is going to be negative. Like, steer clear of it because it's, you know, that bad. It's going to be bad. Um, I feel so violated, yo. I can't even hear you, Amber. I feel so violated by people that I was going to bat for. You know what that feels like? I hate yeah, that. Yeah, I know what that I feels like because I've done it too. I've done huh? it too. You I know what, what it feels like because I've done it as well. What do you mean? You know? like gone to bat for people that don't have your best interests at heart. Like we care too much about people and we care about people. So we do certain things and then, you know, I'm they don't give a shit about us. Over, Amber. I'm tired of getting fucked over. Like my family did me dirty this year. The girls been doing me what well. like, come on. Who's next? Huh? Right. Who's next? Fucking tired of this shit, yo. This is why this is why it's so hard for us to trust people because when people like screw you over all the time, it's like you just you I don't know, it just sucks. I'm sorry. Me too. Me too, sis. But I mean you know, one of the good things out of all this is is the truth has cam came out and as much as I really don't, didn't want anybody to support this show because I felt like it was kind of fraudulent and telling people from the get go that you get to go into there, go pay $20 and you can vote to have whatever bad girl you want in the house. That was a lie from the get go. And I knew that and I wanted to like tell people and say that, but I knew it was just gonna all come out. Amber's a hater, you know, don't listen to her. You can, your vote matters, but it never mattered. That was never a real thing for them. Well, she told me, I told you when she had, when I told her initially about the voting, she was with it. And then she had came back to me when she got all crazy on me and said to me, fuck that fan, they fucking put nobody in the house. We're putting people in the house. And I said, yeah, that was, that was, but Natalie, yeah. that, that's when I knew it. That, that, I told you, that's when I pulled out. I was like, Bleh. but yet she kept making videos telling people your vote matters. Come vote, dude, your vote matters. I said, dude, it's not going to work, Natalie. I don't know what you're doing here. She ignored me. She went ahead and did whatever. Then, you know, she uh, talked about the house and this and that. We're moving a few days and come get the bag. She know I need the bag. I said to her, Natalie, this is going to backfire on you. It backfired on All Star. They didn't like you in the house. They're not going to like you again. I said, and I'm not going to come when they whoop your ass because I told you, first of all, you shouldn't even be there, number one. Number two, I don't know what you're doing. Her exact words to me, her exact words, this one I knew, this one I knew, this one I knew. And that's why I told Gabby, when I seen the video, I said, this is madness, you need to take this down, what she was telling the fans with her. Cause I, I told her, I said, it's not gonna work for you. She's like, you don't think I, don't, I know what I'm doing? You don't think that's I'm That's when smart? you knew something was up. Yeah, you don't think I'm smart? You don't think, I said, whoa. I said, if you have ulterior motives, I'm gonna tell you now, they different, they gonna fuck you up. They gonna fight you, Natalie. They fought you before. I said, it's going to be, I said, this whole shit going to go left. I went, I saw the videos. I told these girls, don't do it. They thought I was hating. They thought I was mad. Oh, and by the way, I haven't been able to stop thinking about that conversation we had with Sarah. Oh, that yeah. Sarah, Sarah's one of the few that I actually would trust the word. You and guys, the, the, I don't know what to say, just, And my heart is breaking for Christina. I, I can't even say much. I, that, 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 I don't like. That out of everything. This is so fucked up. All of it is fucked up. I can't do nothing no more, Amber. I tried, Amber. I tried. I fucking tried, Amber. Nobody can't say I didn't fucking try. I, I, I can't save well, they, them. Yeah, you can't save them. You can't save anyone. You can just distance yourself from certain people and then if the right opportunity comes up and you feel like working for that with that person and you've weighed all the pros and cons 
and you know then do something then but like I, 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 no, can I ask you a question yeah what, what do you think and then I gotta go I gotta go because yeah. Carrie gotta go soon yeah what do you think the motive was for not telling me that they got paid like I'm literally going I'm turning down deals Amber oh that those girls didn't tell you that they got a part portion of their payment yes the motive? I didn't know anything I mean no. I, if I, I'm I'm personally a person that kind of naturally thinks I'm the victim all the time probably just thinking you're a victim you deserve whatever this person's gonna go to the bat for me like yeah I got paid something but I didn't get paid all of it so I don't need to say that you know what I mean no, no. maybe that no they want to be the victim it was a maybe? big hold on hold on a second you have to understand the big beef that happened here and all of the fucking drama that happened over the past 30 days Amber and then for Rocky Shannon and Jada to make a determination that, yo, this is not right, we should give them a cut. For their first, they didn't get all the money yet. They got some of the money. So they gave them a cut of it. That's a big deal. There was like a lot of beef. There was a lot of shit. Like, I never knew that, that those sides ended up even meeting. I never yeah. knew that they tried. That's pretty cool. Like, really respectful of them. And I know Sarah was in on that too. They all like agreed. I think Sarah didn't pull out of her cut because Sarah's like doing a ton of the work. Dude, Sarah is doing everything. Yeah, Sarah is a freaking Sarah is production. Dude, yes, Sarah that's what I was production. just gonna say. Why don't we have Sarah producing this stuff? <laughs> Sarah is like legit the one production. Brains that can pull. She talks a lot like me, but she's smart like me. Where you can she's just pull very smart. People. I was actually blown away by everything. Yeah, I about everything. I, I, I double checked what she told me. Dude, just Sarah owns real it. estate. Sarah's she's got her own hair business right now. You look at her hair. She's selling hair products to people. She's she's on it, and she doesn't bullshit. She doesn't she doesn't ever would never want to be a part of scamming somebody because she's gotten scammed in her life. So she would never so ever try Rocky and do said, that. Rocky said that's all that they'll be getting because we had production costs and it got taken out of the complete pot. Well, Rocky, listen, at this point, honey, that's no longer my business. That's and no longer personally, none of that not is my, no business longer my business. Everybody, let me be very clear. None of that stuff is no longer my business. Now I gotta make the best decision for me. Fuck that. It wasn't my business to begin with. I had no business in this shit anyway. But I felt bad and it came to me and I felt like they were slighted and I didn't even get so much as a, hey, so and so reached out, not even a common courtesy, but disrespected, constantly, questioned, doubted, constantly throughout this whole ordeal. No more. That's it. Yeah. That's and it. all your conversations and text messages are probably fully documented and recorded for. That's totally you know. fine. I, one thing about me, I'm consistent. I back up what the fuck I say. And yeah, if I yeah. change my mind, I change my mind. I have that right. But mm -hmm. after getting this information tonight, bro. No, no. Yeah. And keep you know, in mind, these are, these are the same know. girls complaining about how the show was put together and all that, but they were a part of that. They didn't have a problem with whatever was going to go dude, on, whatever dude, was the being deal was with until Natalie after Nunn. they got kicked the out. The deal they had, here's the deal. The deal they had was with Natalie Nunn. Natalie screwed everybody over. I saw what was happening once I tried to, to I know how this works. I've done this time and time again. There's, there's shows I filmed that, that never even made it to air. So I know all of our production, how long it takes, what happens. And I explained to her it's a different time with COVID, but we can still make it happen. You know what's fucked yeah. up and what's sad? What? They still made money from the OnlyFans. I found out how much. Yeah. And I got to tell you something. They might have been right. About doing it on OnlyFans? Yes. As it turns out, with all of the doubt, they still made money. I mean, I had no, you know, I had no interest at all. None yeah. in OnlyFans. And now when I heard how much, I was like, wait a fucking minute, what? Yeah. You know? So anywho. I'll put in a request right now. Um, Tanisha, will you be our like legitimate pimp? Um, where- no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding. interested I'm in pimping. That's I'm not what kidding. I'm about. Are okay. you ducks? Yeah, well, see, you, you, you good, but then you be going left. Like, it's a know. joke. <laughs> you think I, 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 I know, my I husband know. would be okay I, with I'm me saying, only fans in it. You can't stay. Good job. No, girl, no, he's not okay with that. 
you can't stay good for, for too long. It, it comes out every so long. It's all right. I still love you, Picky. It's all good. I, listen, I was supposed to be out there. I can't come out there. COVID is really bad. It's yeah, really, no, it's really, really bad. bad. Yeah. You should probably try and catch it so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. Because that's what my family did. What? <laughs> I said you should catch COVID so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. What family? Cool. My family, some of my family caught it. So now we don't have to worry. I mean, I do because I don't have it. But, you know, once you get it, you don't have to worry about catching it anymore. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> you just have to quarantine for like a month. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You, you don't think I'm funny. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Because too many bombs tonight. Too many bombs. It's like bombs over Baghdad, like the song. Hold on. <sighs> Who has COVID today? Uh, no one in my family has COVID today. My son's at the final stretch. I think he's got like a day or two before he doesn't have to quarantine. Yeah, we probably got it from Natalie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Everybody's okay. It was it was a a crappy time for a few weeks, but everybody's okay in my in my family. It sucks. Wear your mask. Hey, guys, let's do a PSA right now. Everybody, when you're in public, put your masks on, wear them. And also, if you've been around somebody with COVID, don't go catch a flight. Don't go to the club. Go to your hotel room or your house and quarantine for 14 days if you've been exposed so that during that 14 days, if you get COVID, you don't pass it along. That's my advice to people, because that's why there's so much COVID, is because people aren't being smart. And you know what you're saying, Tanisha, about how you said, did everybody get COVID tests before they're going into the house, all that stuff? That's right. Like, you know what I mean? Their, yeah. That show, their camera guy got sick. What is, okay, what no, is no, this? No, Amber, Amber, don't say no more. Don't say, hold on, stop. Yeah, stop. yeah, yeah. One second. All right, cool. That's, that's. I don't know how you kept going when I walked away, like how you kept going. I Like, you don't really get those moments. Oh. It's okay. It's all right. It's, you, you are who you are. It's fine. You look great. Um. Okay. First of all, wow. Okay. Is the baby okay? Wow. This is... People loud. just... People need to be safe. People need to be smart. Okay. Wait, wait. Forget all that. I said, is the baby okay? Is the, fa the, is the family okay? Yeah. Everybody's good here. Thank God. You're, oh, okay. You're not positive. No, and I'm like kind of pissed about it because I had to, I have to quarantine the longest because I'm not positive and I've been around positive people. I'm complaining. I'm like such a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't get COVID. It's oh, horrible. I had it the worst. <laughs> you fucking bucking, you psycho. Like, can I just like, you if I knew what I knew know. now, I would go, I, I would have made out with my husband back when he had it. <laughs> huh? Wait. If I knew what I knew know now, I would have made out my with my husband back when he had it. And I know somebody said you can still catch COVID again. And um, because I'm in Hawaii, we have, um, we work with the Department of Health every day. We have to talk to them. And we're very, very worried about our island catching COVID. So, um you can catch it again, but it's like very, 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 very rare. And I would much rather live my life. So once I get COVID once, I'm not going to be worrying about it anymore. I'll wear my I'm mask. Gonna, I'm going to be able to see you again, Amber. Yeah, Tanisha, you don't get it. No, if I'm I not get, it, it's I'm not good. Not it's a good thing to get COVID because then you can hang out with us again. You won't have to be scared. Go. No, there's no way. This is weird, bro. This, guys, it's not a good thing to get COVID. You know you have a responsibility to tell the fans that. There's not. Yeah, a no, good I did say Bear that. Jeremiah I said, fighting for his life right now. Shout out and prayers to Jeremiah. I'll also shout out to Auntie Saad out in Philly from Country Cooking, who's also going through a hard time with COVID. Not everybody recovers right away. Amber's filthy rich. You forgot that part. Now, she come, but she, it's true. She, they have money. They have. Ma she's in a mansion here. They have a mansion in LA. They have uh, properties all throughout. They own mad restaurants and bars. They got. They got doctors that could just come like that. The, her situation is different. This is why she's probably joking like this. And I was totally joking. It's like, uh, do you really think I want people to catch COVID? I know, but I'm just letting <laughs> them know we have to. Like, do they not get my of... humor by now? Oh, I okay. forgot that. Like, I, I know I'm you know. I just let it for the slope. You know they're gonna take that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just uh, anyway, say, 
Everybody wear your mask. Yes. If you've been around someone with COVID, you quarantine for 14 days so you can make sure you're clear of COVID. Even if you test negative the day after you were around that person, you could still test positive and have symptoms 13 days later. So quarantine for 14 days so we can stop this shit. Exactly. I'm over it. I'm ready for them to put everything on lockdown again. And I'm actually on lockdown myself right now. Yeah. And what they're doing to bars and restaurants is really, really messed up. Most of our bars and restaurants are closed and they've been closed since the beginning of the year. We still have to pay the mortgages and the rent and the bills on all that kind of stuff. Oh, Meanwhile, thinking. we can't be open and we can't really serve people. And most I, was of them, so. I don't got it. Tell them y'all don't got it. Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously, but. Um, Where they want y'all to get that money from? Doesn't you take the threats baby. away. You got profit, huh? Yeah, that doesn't take the threats away. That doesn't, you know, they want their money. They have their mortgages to pay or, you know, the landlords or whatever, the mortgage companies. It's right. it's a tough world for everyone. That's it why is. we just need to be safe and get rid of this COVID shit. And we do. I'm sorry you guys are going through that, but I'm happy that everybody's okay. And more importantly, I'm happy that you're negative. You just dropped another bomb on me. Thank you for making me worry <laughs> all night. Now I'm going to call you after this. Yeah, we're good over here. We're good. I didn't I didn't tell anybody we had it in the beginning because honestly, if you get COVID, you don't want to tell people right away because then they're going to blow you up every day. Are you okay? Are you okay? I know, you Are you okay? Me, what, what you did tell me was that someone on the plane had it and that you guys were quarantining just in case. I knew that part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I told that. Uh, well, because we had plans in Maui. That we bitch that. knew she Birthday was sick. Parties. That bitch on the plane knew she was sick. What the fuck she was doing outside? That wretch. That's what I'm we sorry, we thought. Thinking. We thought it was the person on the plane, but it could have been from like a couple days before, and the symptoms just didn't like show up. You have to, in order to fly to Hawaii, and like pretty much in order to fly to Hawaii and have a good vacation, you have to test negative for COVID within seventy two hours. We both tested negative for COVID. Um, we got here and my husband had symptoms. So, sucks. Okay. I'm sorry. How's he doing? It's okay. I love you. I love you too. How's he doing now? He's good? Um, yeah, everybody's great. Yeah. Look. And everybody can leave but me now. <laughs> but you're so Ugh, you're so my ugly. life. Oh, it's so horrible. <laughs> Bye, Amber. I love you. Bye. I love you well. Thank you for dropping yet another bomb on me tonight. But I'm happy you guys are okay. It's all good. I love it. It's all good. That's why I love Oh, it. by the way, you guys, hey, can we all agree in this live? I know Tanisha said this is her last live. Can we please tell her right now that we will not ask her about Bad Girls Club oh, on yeah. her next, like, let's have her do one more, tell her, just convince her to do one more live with tea. It doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be like tomorrow, but one more and we'll agree not to ask her about Bad Girls Club stuff. Maybe it could have a different topic. Maybe it could be about health, about being a good parent. Who knows about being bad, even though you're good. Who knows? And like convince her to do that and not ask her about bad girls club stuff. Cause you guys, you kind of like this live stuff with her, don't you? I do, personally. Okay. okay. All right, bye. All right, bye. You, just, you could have told me that tonight. Like I'm literally gonna fucking talk to you now. I can't. I, you gotta love Cookie. I love, you see? She, she's really like that. She's wild, bro, but I love her. Mad, genuine, the nicest person. One of the nicest people you ever meet in life. I'm telling you, it's crazy though. So I knew everybody was quarantined. I found out a lot of shit tonight. They had COVID. I'm never going over there now. I gotta go, you guys. I've been here for a long time. I thank you guys for tuning in. I um, have a lot to on my on my plate and a lot on my mind. I don't even know if this live is going to save. Um, wow, what a finale. I mean, just like America, this shit is really lit. I mean, I'm really involved in some real, a real life telenovela slash bit, bad girls club set slash, I mean, it's just, it's wild here. It's wild. Um, so this is the season finale, and this is why I'm deciding to make this a finale. Well, reason being is Carrie's leaving and for work. And I have the baby, 
and I have a few things I have to do. The holidays are approaching and I'm not getting anything done as this BGC stuff has this completely consumed me. The Live With Tea stuff is amazing and I love it because it's my element and it feels right and it feels very natural. Believe it or not, I don't rehearse for any of this. Um, I don't memorize lines or anything. This is completely strictly off the cuff and it's raw, it's live, it's uncut. I kind of always love shows like that. I feel like it's more interesting. You know, if I haven't made it to series, of course, they would be, it would be a lot more structured in terms of a lot more things, but I need money behind that, which I think I can get and I will get eventually. Also, the number at the top that you guys see that says 2,711, that is not the number of people in here. For some reason or another, Instagram doesn't show my actual number until I get off of the live or it could be that it fluctuates. I could get off this live right now and there'll be 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 people on. Who knows? Um, but I have to take a break because the holidays are coming, because I'm going to be with the baby, and because I need to give Aiden my full attention because I won't have the help with Carrie. And within that time, I'll figure out what I want to do with Live With Tea, where I would like it to land, because the truth is the numbers have been great. Uh, the first live did... Um, about 50 something thousand. The second live totaled at about 100 something thousand. I'm talking about active actual viewers. And then the last live I did, did uh, 32,000 people tuned in. So you guys are there, you guys are present. I will say if I decide to go to OnlyFans, if I decide, and yes, they have approached me twice now, it will be worth your while. If I have to ask you guys to pay, which I feel really bad about because I know y'all don't got it, especially in this pandemic right now, I will try to give you content that is meat and potatoes and that substance, that's something, you know? So you're not just shutting out money. I'll also make it affordable as much as I possibly can uh, for you guys. A lot of you have suggested a podcast. Um, I'm going to look into that as well. Um, I'm a bad boss. I am a bad boss because I am very spoiled. This is the truth. I have this new thing about saying the truth and accepting it. I like to do things my way, how I want to do it. So it's very hard doing it on my own. I think the key is trying to figure out a little bit more of a solid team that's going to be on me to kind of get this stuff done and get the ball going. I also need an assistant. If you're in New York, New York or New Jersey and you have been COVID free this entire time, you have a strong background in, um, you know, obviously all the social media stuff and whatever, send me your resume, send me your information to the email in my bio. I'll take a look at it. I'm trying to build together a team to really make this work. I love it. I love it. It's my element. It feels right. It's natural. You know, can't teach this. It is what it is. And I'm very blessed. And I thank you, God, for my gifts. And I thank you guys for supporting me and being here. And I will be back once I figure out what happens next. Now, in terms of the sit down, this will be the last time you guys hear from it, unless something crazy happens and I have to address it. I have to now take everything that I learned tonight and evaluate and make the best decision for me, just like I should have did four weeks ago. I thank you guys for tuning in. I big shout out to the Bad Girls Club. All